So we had a question some for, some, some, from, from some people on the ADR forum that they'd been told that they were not allowed to have ADR surgery because their disc height was not enough, it was collapsed down. And they were told they were no longer a candidate for an artificial disc and the doctors are basically telling them they needed to do a fusion at that point. Mm -hmm. So, Okay, for my point, it's not a contraindication. Uh, otherwise, we have, in this case, to remove all these collapsed ligaments. We have to, we have to resect the anterior ligament and, additionally, the posterior. If we have uh, got the, the approach from anterior to the posterior ligament, then we can uh, restore the normal flexibility and we can put in the disc afterwards. But this is important to resect these contract and collapsed um, soft tissue, soft tissue named um, annulus fibrosus, anterior ligament and posterior ligament. And then we have the normal mobility of the, set of the level and we can introduce a new artificial disc. I have done it very often, so it is not a contraindication from my point. Okay, but you just lose the anterior and posterior ligaments. Yes, in this case we have to lose it. Okay, so a little less stability, but still better no, than a fusion. The stability is given by the implant. Okay. I, the viscoelastic prosthesis is able to stabilize also the, the, the spine and the, the, the level in, in, in question. So this is a property of this special implant that gives the spine a normal stability and additionally mobility. So with other devices with uh, ball and socket prosthesis like this one it is not possible to do this procedure with this one no? because it is too mobile no? and similar like this. So with a viscoelastic prosthesis we give the spine the normal mobility and stability. Perfect. Sounds great. Thank you. <laughs>